six hours later. So I've installed the uh, solar powered drip irrigation system. Unfortunately, I am not, uh, I couldn't film stage by stage, but basically, look, you can see it. It's got five settings and I've managed to connect everything on it. Absolutely everything. This is another marrow I got. Um, look, my chilies. Everything is now connected to the automatic solar powered drip irrigation. Apologies for the shaking of the camera. Here's my black beauties getting bigger. I just picked one of them. I'll show you a little bit of harvest I've done. So I brought all the tomatoes in. I've cut some of the foliage. Um, and uh, picked most of the cucumbers. Unfortunately, most of the, cuc uh, the cucumber plants are dying because it was excessive heat. So look, everything is connected. And I'm actually really surprised by this drip irrigation system. So it will save me. Have a look at this picture. See how many aubergines. I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on that picture. See if you guys can spot them. All right, it's a little funky cucumber. It's because of the heat. Look, the leaves are all burnt. So everything is now connected. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Um, take you out I'm just the only thing I'm worried about is some someone nicking it this so the wires are going through underneath just about see it here so it's there look it's connected up go take the cover off it's gone inside there it's got a little filter right in the bottom so it will pick up and once it goes to say about there so you don't get any dirt coming in. And you can hear it, look. Got five settings. Gotta find out what setting to leave it on while the wasp is attacking me. So everything is now connected up. And I put my cabbages in. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough time to make the hoop tunnels. I do have the plastic somewhere here. Mm, there it is. It's underneath there, you can see it. And I've got the nettings. So these are all my cabbages. I think some of them are Romanescos. And there's more there, look. Um, sweet corn's coming along fine, apart from the ones that the foxes are destroying. That's another conversation. Um, so I've just put them in. Yeah, I think the spacing is incorrect, but I had to get, I had to put them in, and I've got loads more to put in as well. All right, and this is the harvest: pumpkin, uh, the Asian marrow, which is called the bottle gourd, uh, rhubarb. Tomatoes, cucumbers, varieties. So that's all going to be wheeled all the way to the end where the car is. Bit of a mission because I got the bottom plot. This this way you can come, but you can't drive. So that's it. So I'll be uh, from next weekend. I'll be away for a few weeks. That's why I installed that one. But my mate and my fellow a lot more old over there Sam he was going to keep an eye on things for me um, hopefully no one will nick that if they if they nick it I've got to it's basically completely what's the word it's going to mess things up so I can't just buy the unit on its own because that, that unit is, uh, is the most expensive part of it it's got 24 drip, uh, drippers on it but I bought an extension from Screwfix take it to the other side and I've got a bit more wires left as you can see right in the corner so this is it it saves me catching two trains and a bus if I'm not driving to get here and another 10 minutes walk it's gonna be a lifesaver 
I need to tidy up a little bit. Not okay, next weekend I'll come down and I'll cut this marrow. So now I'm gonna sign out because I think it's gonna the clouds are gonna open up again. Alright gents, until next time.